what is going on guys welcome back to another video so today we are going to be doing some stuff with this tractor right here uh this is a 1951 case vac uh, and today we're just going to be doing some miscellaneous work that includes um brush hogging scraping and possibly some plowing so stay tuned all right we're on the tractor we got the brush hog on here and we're going to do some brush hogging so to start this you you pull this out you push this in. I'm talking to the camera. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you, you pull this out. You push this in. And it should start. Much to the floor? Yeah. Put it in first. Too. Am I good? Oh, it's so loud. It's so loud. I couldn't hear a single thing you were saying. Well, All right. You just stop here, so that's good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Nathan's case VAC. What? Oh, I said this is your case VAC. Oh, yeah, you're rolling. Um, yeah. I was rolling the whole time. All right, so uh, this is like about a one month update uh, on Nathan's tractor. Last time we were here, he got it the day before. So let's see what he's done to it. I broke the exhaust off. That's fun. Uh, I hit a tree, but I didn't break the manifold, so that's nice. Um, and it was actually stuck on. I've somewhat sealed the air cleaner um, with JB Weld, because that has oil in it. That's the way those older air filters work, their oil bath. Um, but I still need to put more on it, because it leaks a little. I've been through the carburetor. I should have a kit coming in like today or tomorrow. Yeah, so that might be in the video. <laughs> Yeah, um, but it, it runs a whole lot better. Um, I changed the oil, and I changed the hydraulic fluid, which is actually motor oil. Um, let's see, what else have I done? New filter. I, uh, I adjusted the points. I need to replace them. Oh, and I threw new plugs in, Champion D16. I prefer auto light, but that's what I had. Um, Pretty much it. I also went through and cleaned it, uh, as you can very obviously tell. Oh yeah, tell. they did look so much cleaner. Um, and I put a new, this piece right here was missing on the position control lever. Uh, so I put that on, and now it holds better because this hitch is kind of weird. This piece moves with the uh, rock shaft and these arms, so if it's not there then it doesn't hold correctly. Um, so that's kind of strange. I'll put a suicide spinner on the steering wheel. This thing doesn't have power steering, but it still turns pretty darn easily. Oh yeah, it definitely does. I went through and put some uh, wires on this generator. And, because I wasn't charging before, it should make about 7 or 8 volts probably. And when I tested it, it was making 21 volts and something was smoking. The uh, switch was smoking. <laughs> so... I'm just going to put a GM1 wire alternator on that and convert to 12 volt negative ground at some point. Big brain words. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, I also threw JB Weld on the back of the tank because yeah, that was, was rusted out. Yeah, it it was would leaking. leak yeah. pretty impressively. All right, well, as you can see, we have the brush hut on it, and uh, I think. <laughs>
Oh. What are you doing? 